This is epic. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. In this episode, we're gonna talk a little bit about our results from our very first week in the warehouse for this new financial year and whether we hit our targets or whether we didn't. And as always, we're gonna share some of those really important weekend sales with you guys so you guys know what to look out for when you're in the thrift store. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the warehouse. It is Monday once again. We're gonna share with you in this one our weekend sales and they are starting to ramp up, which is great after all the work we've been putting in. <laughs> and we're gonna share some of the goals that we did or didn't hit this last week. So let's get straight into that picking. All right, we actually have 47 to pick this weekend, which is nice. Things are starting to ramp up after a very busy week. We have been listing like 60 to 80 items every day. So it's definitely helping. Yeah, and this is our little tracking board and we've actually added the best day in. So our best day so far has been 2,725, which was actually on Friday, which is nice. Things starting to ramp up. We are listing less on the weekends than we are during the week. And Friday we got 80 done. So you can see we're sort of ramping things up slowly and uh, it's definitely starting to show in sales. So let's get into those. First one off the list today is this set of three Stevo DVDs. This is all from Daniel's lot. So average cost of goods on those have been recorded at two bucks. So that cost us six plus postage and fees. Probably gonna make $15 after everything on those. So not too bad. He's a madman. Nice little cap sale going out. This one sold for $39.95. It is this 2003 Rugby World Cup cap. I uh, got that for $2.99 at Savers, and that one's actually going overseas as well, so they paid the international postage. Oh, we like that. Nice pair of Nike Air Jordans going out the door for $50. I took an offer on these. We did have them listed for a bit more. They're right down the bottom of the shoe box. Shoes are probably one thing we haven't worked out a really great system for storing just yet, apart from the stacking of them, which we're not really sure if that's going to work. So $50 on those. We got them from Daniel, actually, originally. So. Thanks, Daniel. Out the door for $29.95, this Swan Lake. I'm only gonna try and say the name of the creator of that one. <laughs> one of Daniel's lot. So it's been really interesting looking at all these like international DVDs and yeah. what they sell for because there's been some very high price stuff and then a lot of like mids and lows as well. So we're getting an education on international DVDs while listing all these. <laughs> Another DVD lot going out the door. This one sold for 40 bucks. These are new and sealed some Batman. Batman! We, we got these a, a long time ago from yeah. a collector and they've just sat. We have relisted and changed some prices on some of this stuff to start moving it. And these went out the door for 40. Get out. Got a little Harley Davidson belt buckle going out for $34.95. Again, from Daniel's stuff. So we've been listing a lot of his gear. I'll show you a bit of an update of how much we've got through over the last couple of weeks because it has been a lot. This whole tub needs to be re-skewed. We just dumped everything in there when we were moving and said accessories. And yeah, there's a lot of different stuff. I had to dig through some like ski goggles, some wallets, but we found the belt buckle. Vintage Iron Williams Moleskins going out. These ones sold for $50. They're a size 40 and they have been hemmed, so they'll probably detract on the value a little bit. If they weren't hemmed, you probably would get closer to 60 on these. Have slowed down a little bit, we've noticed, but we haven't been finding a lot of them either, so. They are old. Yeah, that's the old tag, so keep an eye out for those vintage RM Williams Moleskins. So more blank media going out, 32.95 for this set of five, these B90s, very happy with that. The RPG books have been fantastic for us. This Rift's Dimension book for scrapers, I think it is. So for $36.95, we paid $3.50 originally for these. $3.75, sorry. So very happy to get that one out. Scrapers! And who remembers this from their childhood? These little like Discovery Time play toy musical toy trains. You put those little discs in them and they go along and they make the music for them. Horrible sounds. We sold this one for 60, so hey. very happy with that one. We've got a bunch of Lego going out. Lego City, the boxes are damaged, they are sealed. They're smushed. So we just loaded these up and we ended up getting 50 bucks out of it. Pretty good for damaged boxes. And Kyra just got here. Morning. How were your sales over the weekend? Um, Yesterday was not good, but yeah. today has been better. <laughs> been listing a ton of cassettes for Daniel. They are definitely not my favorite thing to be listing. <laughs> We did sell this lot of three with the Lion King, Smurfin, Singin' and Listin for $34.95. So we've kind of gone a lot of the lot route with a lot of these just to try and clear some. There was two or three in there that were worth selling on their own, but otherwise not much value in them. We're going to have to dig. You know you're a reseller when you misread listening as listing. <laughs> <laughs> Finally found them after digging for some time. 
singing and listening. Again, another lot from Daniel. I've been listing books as well, which again, is my favorite <laughs> thing to be listing, but we sold these for 22. I'll go on a small, so probably gonna make $10 after everything on those. Out the door. All right, this one is actually a fun one. This is epic. It's a rare 1979 Whammo Willy Waterbug. Willy Waterbug! Look at the box art. That oh actually my God. sold for $149 plus international postage. So That's I'm hoping insane. this ends up on like some 80s show, like Stranger, Stranger Things, Things maybe. Stranger Things, <laughs> season five, Willy Waterbug edition. You like hook your hose up and... It's like the early sprinkler, but crazy. Crazy. Got a little Lord of the Rings DVD box set, sold for 40 bucks from Daniel's Lot. So very happy with that one going out the door. It's beautiful. A cool little die car sale, $29.95 for this double deck of London bus. Found the buses to do quite well, so probably worth looking out for them. Um, do a little bit of research when you find them, but yeah, that one's gone well, the bus. reasonably quickly. Here we go, another set of these TDK B90s. These ones are loose, set One, of five. Two, three, four, five. $29.95. And we've also sold a quantity of two lots of these to somebody else. This person has bought two lots of them. Five, five, five. What is going on? <laughs> Let's go. Aaron Williams belt sold for 60. These belts have been fantastic for us. Another one outdoor, that one's a size 38. Psalm 41, five CD box set going out for 60 bucks. That is Ooh. a very good sale. Happy with that one. So this one overseas, this vintage public image rush for action tee sold for $50. Sick. Another vintage item, this FUBU athletic jersey sold for 55. <laughs> something just went crash in the background. Are you okay? Would you quieten down on set, would you? I know. He's crashing and bashing. So loud. Why are you even in business with me? <laughs> <laughs> you sold these over the weekend? Yeah, I did. How much? Um, 110 plus post. Ooh, they are that. Royal Winton in the Pelham pattern. Very cool. Mm -hmm. What else is in here? Ooh. Um, what have I got? This is not sold. Um, we got more vintage stuff. These are just some green frosted glass, um, little candle holders. They would have probably come in a set originally. They sold for 50 plus post, I think. Have a <laughs> Um, The brand is Victorinox. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I don't know if you can see it. Mm. It's pretty big. Um, chef's knife. And that one sold for 50 plus post. This was super recent. Uh, Daniel bought this recently. It's an Oraton bag but I put it up high because um, I would not seen one that was like a chocolate brown it's like a different kind of brown so I just put it up like $79.95 just sort of fishing and I got it got a Lululemon backpack I don't know if you can see the Lululemon there it is um, it's just beat up but I still got like 60 plus post yeah. uh, some clothing this is also a very recent sort of thing I put on eBay. It's a drift. Didn't actually have the size. Um, I would be careful estimating sizes just in case like you don't really know actually how big it is, but I'm pretty good with sizing. So I just put like a recommended size in on that one. That one sold for 35, so just bread and butter. Um, we've got Johnny Woz. If you're not looking out for Johnny Woz, definitely do. This is a different kind of Johnny Woz tag. There's lots of different ones. Um, that one sold for 100 plus post. And then we have David Lawrence, really pretty dress. That one sold for 55. Um, and then we have a couple more things. We've got a vintage hat, which I didn't really know if this would sell quickly or even for a lot, but it sold for 40 bucks plus post. And this one also, which is a little beat up, um, it is a Lancaster mug, and that one sold for 30. Schley Dino is going out the door for $47. Rah! It's definitely a brand to be keeping an eye out for. Schley, they do quite well. G-Star Jacket going out for $99.95. I think we did pay up this one originally, about $30. So it's going to be probably $30 profit after everything, maybe a little bit more. Whoa. I do like G-Star, and I probably overpaid for it, but we still made some profit, so too bad. Is it this? Nike Air Force One sold for 90 bucks. Keep your eye out for Nike Air Force Ones. Really popular shoe, um, and you can get some very good money for some of the different colors. So we'll keep an eye out. For. Even white. <laughs> An item from our new SKU system. We've had to move some racks around to fit a lot of these new items on. But these are a pair of diesel. They sold for 40 bucks, not one of the more popular styles, and it is in R3A2. So 
Literally, we don't even need to like tell each other what we're looking for. We just need to tell us the location and the number and where she goes. Another item from the new SKU system, this Jimi Hendrix Experience men's t-shirt. Sold for $38 and it is in R3i110. We've overfilled this one. We did a funny thing where uh, Cara and I both made an R3i and filled them and then we realized and we've had to combine them. Whoopsie! We did that. One ten. Woohoo! Another one from the new SKU system, this Prodigy Bear Law, sold for fifty-five bucks. That's how easy it's meant to be. Don't overfill them. Another nice little sale here, thirty-nine ninety-five on these two anime DVDs. Nice camcorder going out. This Canon sold for one hundred and ninety-nine ninety-five. We're trying to keep everything like together so we don't have to go scrounging for stuff. So pretty happy with that one. That one was from Daniel as well. Cost of goods on that was I think 50 bucks. So we're gonna make really some nice. decent money on this. I wanna give you guys a bit of a goal update. We have set some pretty high goals for this year. We wanna be listing sort of 500 a week. Now the first week we actually hit 471, which I'm not too concerned about for us to go from sort of like 200 listings a week right up to 471 very quickly. I'm pretty happy with that result between us, Car and Daniel. We've been smashing the work and we ended up selling $12,298 worth and our goal is to be hitting 13,461. So we're very close to that. We're in the 90% range, we're very happy for the first week and things are gonna continue to go up from here, hopefully. That is it from me. I'm about to take an entire week off, but the team is gonna be here working hard and they will show you how they went on the next one. What you got? What you picking? I'm looking for clothes. <laughs>